Next time you're at the dollar store, grab a large wreath form, two small wreath forms, and one 3D wreath form. Assemble the 3D wreath form according to the instructions. Start to cut the wire rings from each other on the large wreath form and the two small wreath forms. Take the second to largest ring and place in the center of the wire globe. Take two of the second to smallest rings and attach them horizontally between the center ring and the bottom of the globe. Take the smallest rings and attach them horizontally to each end of the globe, securing with floral wire. Starting at the top of the globe, tie a piece of jute twine in a secure knot. Start to loop and weave the jute twine over and under. Once finished with one section, skip the section beside it and start to weave the jute in the next section in the same direction. Work your way up the globe and weave the jute in every other section. Once you have the horizontal sections complete, start to weave the alternate sections vertically. Take a light cord and attach it to the top of the globe with the bulb hanging in the center of the globe. Use a very low wattage bulb that does not get hot. Hang your woven jute light fixture from a hook on the ceiling and turn on the light. Run to the dollar store and grab some jute cord. You're going to need either one or two plastic bottles. Now for this larger bottle here, there's a groove that I'm going and cutting into. For this smaller container, I'm going down to the first groove and cutting it just like I did for the larger bottle. So now we're going to go and take some wire. You're going to want to go and cut a three inch section and then go up just about an inch more. So you have three inch pieces and you also have four inch pieces. So we're going to take a small amount of hot glue, put it onto one end, and we're going to go and slowly wrap the jute. We're going to go and bend this in half make some points. Now take some hot glue on the outer portion of it, take it and stick it down onto some of your burlap. Now we're going to go and take some of the jute and we're going to glue it around the bottom along with all the way to the top of this cut piece of bottle. So go and figure out where you're going to place these and start to hot glue them down. Now I chose fairy lights for this craft. To secure the fairy lights, make sure to use a little bit of hot glue. For the smaller bottle, we're going to go and wrap it in jute first and then we're going to go and glue down the petals. Now the only difference is that the wire should be facing inwards so it's hidden by some of the burlap. Now stick the fairy lights in place. Now you're ready to go and hang these up in a place of your choosing in your home. Pick up one garden border from your local Dollar Tree. Cut the spike bases off. Add small black zip ties to attach the wreath form to the border fence. Wrap the border fence with small twinkle lights all the way around. Add greenery of choice around the top of the border fence with hot glue. There you have it, a cheap way to create your own boho inspired pendant light for your home for less than $10. We are gonna start with seven of these bowls. You're also gonna need some E6000. Just basically go around. You're gonna place it on top. We're gonna do this again. So I'm gonna give these a little bit of time to cure. I'm gonna be taking my E6000 and I'm gonna go around the top of this, stack it on top, and we're gonna do this one more time. I am using Dixie Bell Vintage Duck Egg Chalk Paint. So I'm actually gonna use E6000 for this step. Line it up, and then we're gonna let that sit until it dries, and we are gonna trace around the inside of the, of the hole that I created. You actually will not need to paint the underside, just the sides and the top. I'm gonna start with the bottom part, tilt that up. So we are going to take a solar light, placing it over, put the top part of our solar light and it's gonna nestle right in. Here is my finished DIY cordless solar lamp for my outdoor patio. These cute containers came from the Dollar Tree to attach the pink to the purple. I'm gonna go ahead and place the adhesive about right in there. Slide together, very firm hold. Pop it right in the middle there. I've got a large adhesive strip and I'm just going to put it on the back side of my sconces and then I'm going to attach it to the wall. I think it turned out super cute and not too bad for only $15. The next time you are at your local dollar store, pick up some wire garden hanging baskets. Turn one wire basket upside down and place on top of a second basket. Secure together by using three zip ties that are placed equidistant from each other. Take a string of LED lights, hang the battery box inside the basket globe and connect to the top. Turn the lights on and wrap the lights evenly around the globe, both vertically and horizontally. Secure the end of the light string to the basket using a twist tie. 
Using a leafy garland of your choice, start to tuck and glue the different leaves to the wire basket globe. Now, remember all those chains and hooks that you removed from the baskets? Let's put them to good use. Reconnect these chains of different lengths to the hooks and tighten the hook back together using some pliers. If you have a porch swing, here is a fun way to hang the globes without drilling additional holes into your porch ceiling. Thread the stick through your porch swing ceiling hooks to create a horizontal rod and hang your garden globes from the branch. Use your remote to turn the lights on and enjoy the warm glow of your new outdoor lighting. Run to the dollar store and go and grab a glass bottle. We are going to start off this craft with a cleaned out plastic bottle. So now we're going to line this up with the bottle. Go and draw a circle for where this is going to go and fit. Go and cut it out, put your glass into the hole. Now we're going to go and paint our bottle. Let it dry. Let's go and get these fake pearls and start to string them with some pipe cleaner, but leave one end unbended. We're going to go and poke some holes into our plastic bottle. Take the pipe cleaner, stick it in there, take the other pieces, go and stick them in as well. Hot glue where it meets with the pipe cleaner and also the bottle. Got some fairy lights and we're going to go and stick them into where we have the center hole. Now let's take this base here, stick it in place. I am using cotton for this. Now let's go and glue these down. Use your fingers to go and poof it out. Go and use a fork to really go and poof it out even more. This cloud lamp is sure to light up any room, is so much fun to go and make, and is upcycled. I'm gonna grab me some solar lights. Next, head over to the hardware store. I'm gonna grab me about 100 feet of nylon rope. First thing I gotta do is blow up this dollar beach ball. Then I gotta get out some Portland cement. Make sure it's not concrete, but cement. You want it actually really thin because we need to coat that rope. Now, on that beach ball, just start laying that rope. You're just gonna start roping it all the way around. Once you get to the end, what you're gonna do is tuck that last bit in underneath the rope, and it's gonna hold it in place. Then what we can do is move on to possibly adding a little bit more cement. Make sure you cover all that rope. We want it to stiffen up as best we can. I'll let it sit for a couple hours once we get it covered. Once it's covered, take a knife and just puncture the beach ball. Once we get it all the air out, just go ahead and pull it through one of the bigger openings between the ropes. Now, I wanna clean it up, took a little bit of a plastic fork, and just clean up the edges. Don't want anything flaking off. Take a squirt bottle and start squirting all the string, and you're just gonna powder it with the cement. Just keep doing that all over. What this does is make it thicker and strengthen it up. We're gonna grab that dollar light again. Take out the bottom part. You're gonna turn it around, put it in, and that's what's gonna stick into the ground. Go ahead and put it right into the ground, right in the area you wanna put it, and then you're gonna take your string orb and you're gonna put it right over the light, right in the middle, and lay it on down. Once it's in place, it just looks really good, just sitting there. It's waterproof because it's on the nylon rope and it's made out of cement. But once night comes, look at it light up. It is amazing to see from your yard and from the street, Run to Dollar Tree and pick up one large plastic bowl. Use a palette knife and drywall spackle to apply to the exterior of the bowl. Create a hole in the bottom of the bowl in the size of a light socket. Finish spackling around the hole. Add Dixie Bell's Slick and Stick to the inside of the bowl with a paintbrush. Take your Modern Masters metallic gold paint, at least two layers. Sand the surface of the spackled exterior. Take Rub and Buff and buff into the surface of the bowl interior. Take a hanging light kit from Amazon. Add a light bulb of choice. Hang in place and plug in. Create your own modern pendant light for less than $15.